today. First contract between DeJong and Deco for renewal. In the case of Xavi Simons, the RB Leipzig player leaves his future in the air. Get Tuso ready to get a slap? Let's jump right in. FC Barcelona's Deco and Frankie de Jong, 26 years old, have initiated talks about the midfielder's contract renewal. Although he's under his co contract until 2026, the club is eager to secure his future until 2028, with Deco expressing support following Frankie's recent injury. Deco and Xavi expressed full confidence in de Jong's present and future at Barcelona. Despite last year's turmoil when the club considered selling him for financial reasons, De Jong opted to stay and played a crucial role in winning the La Liga under Xavi. Deco emphasized that renewing De Jong is a separate matter from salary fair play concerns, which also applies to Ter Stegen. Renewing both players is solely based on sporting criteria. The player is eager to stay with Barcelona, where he enjoys comfort, and in the city with his partner Mickey as they ex expect their first child. The club aims to extend his contract until 2028 when he'd be 31, adding two more seasons to his current deal. Deco is patient, but mindful that delaying negotiations isn't ideal, given the two-year mark before his contract ends in the summer of 2024. The sports director will initiate discussions with Ali Dursen, Frankie's agent, to set up a meeting soon. Barca is set to officially announce the recent finalized renewal of Lamina Yamal for a three-year contract. The club is coordinating schedules for the announcement, which is expected to take place next Monday. Moving over to Germany, RB Leipzig Xavi Simons keeps his future uncertain, sparking concern at the German club. The PSG low knee remains non-committal, saying, You can't predict anything in football. I want to be successful and leave my mark on the club. He wanted to move to Barcelona, but Ronald Koeman suggested to him to wait a year. Moving on to Italy now. Gattuso, during his introduction as Marcel's new coach, discussed the ongoing conflict with the passionate fans, emphasizing the need to take things game by game. He humorously remarked to the club's president, Pablo Longoria, upon his arrival in Marseille, that he was prepared to receive a slap given the challenging circumstances but couldn't turn down the opportunity despite the difficulties. Well, the Argentine Papu Gomez, who departed Sevilla before the transit market closure, is on the verge of joining Serie A's Monza. The 35-year-old Argentine World Cup champion is poised to sign a one-season deal with the Italian club until June 30th, filling in for Gianluca Caprari. And this is the second time Papu Gomez is moving to Italy. The Corinthians confirmed on Thursday the appointment of coach Mano Menezes who has previously managed the Sao Paulo club twice in 2008 and 2010 and 2014 as the replacement for former Brazilian coach Vanderlei Luxemburgo, who was relieved of his duties on Wednesday due to poor results. The announcement was made by the second most popular club in Brazil through their social media channels, specifying that they've offered Menezes a contract that will keep him with the team until the 2025 season. In England, Ivan Tony, the Brentford striker who recently signed the new agent's form, he's made it evident that he intends to switch teams in either January or July 2024. He'd prefer to do it in January. Arsenal, prepared with the 90 million euros in January to pursue a signing, is aware of the varying conditions for the transfer depending on whether it occurs in the winter or summer market. The price tag will differ accordingly. Chelsea is also in on the loop as they hold interest in the 27-year-old Tony who is under contract with Benford until 2025. Chelsea might also be looking at him. So what's going on with Victor Osman? Napoli has taken a significant step toward resolving their conflict with Osman.
They issued an apology to the Nigerian striker. The club had previously made fun of him, specifically regarding a missed penalty. The clubs like Chelsea and Al are closely monitoring the situation ahead of the January transfer window, and Napoli aims to mend the rift with Osman. <music> Sheffield United part ways with current manager Paul Eckingbottom. They made initial contact with former coach Chris Wilder, 56. And Wilder previously managed Sheffield United from 2016 to 2021, achieving Premier League promotion in 2019 before leaving in March 2021. He recently managed Watford in 2023 and departed at the season's end. Sheffield United's 0-8 loss in Newcastle has left them at the bottom of the Premier League standings. The Italian Football Federation is contemplating a lawsuit for damages against their former coach Roberto Mancini, who unexpectedly resigned as Italy's coach in August. The FIGC has initiated a legal review to assess the potential grounds for such a claim. Mancini, who claimed to have no future plans upon resigning, was subsequently named Saudi Arabia's coach on August 27th signing a lucrative contract worth 20 million annually until 2027. Juventus is actively pursuing the renewal of Federico Chiesa, a key player in Allegri's squad. The 25-year-old winger, initially on loan from Fiorentina, has a contract until 2025, and the club is keen on extending his stay. Jose Mourinho's Roma is actively pursuing Eric Dyer, a player he previously coached at Tottenham. The Italian team has initiated talks to secure the 27-year-old English defender and midfielder during the coming winter transfer window. Dyer's contract expires this season. That's it for today's transfer update.